Well, right now at 5.30, we have new details on the city's controversial handling of the botched raid on Anjanette's, Anjanette Young's home. An independent report released just today says the city failed to follow appropriate procedures after officers forced her to stand naked while mistakenly searching her home. It comes just one day after city council approves a nearly $3 million settlement for Young. WGN's Julian Cruz joining us now with the findings of this new report. Pretty big report. Micah, intense interest in this report. You may remember the independent report by the Jones Day law firm was requested a year ago by Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot. Investigators made up of former federal prosecutors and an appeals court judge pointing to failures across city departments, but the report concluding that there's no evidence Mayor Lori Lightfoot or city employees took deliberate action to conceal information with malicious intent to add to Young's mistreatment. Now, we did find failures in oversight and accountability by each of the four city departments. Jones Day attorney and former Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals judge Ann Claire Williams at a Chicago press conference weighing in on the Anjanette Young debacle. The suffering inflicted upon her was made worse by the treatment she received from numerous city departments. Police body cam video from the botched raid in February of 2019 drawing national, even international attention. A prosecutor and judge at the time approving the search warrant on what turned out to be a bad address. The Jones Day report describing the affair as a horrific example of insensitivity and humiliation. Here's how it happened. The investigative team of 40 lawyers finding city employees failed to consider Young's dignity while not prioritizing the clear misconduct for fast-track review. The city did not always follow procedures or maintained obviously flawed procedures, and there was inadequate communication across city departments. But a central question addressed by the report having to do with Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot and precisely when she was first told about the matter. Why did the mayor say she only learned of the search of Miss Young's home in December 2020 when she had been advised of the search in November 2019? The short answer, according to investigators, is that the mayor erred in her recollection of events when she first received a short email from the deputy mayor of public safety, an entire year elapsing, the report concluding, before the mayor hears more details and sees the body cam video for the first time with reporters asking questions. Our conclusion, no malicious intent to mislead or hide or deceive, it was a mistake. Chicago's mayor says she hasn't read the voluminous report yet, but she says she and her city hall departments will look to drill down on the findings. So I think there's a lot of valuable insights that will arise from the Jones Day investigation because every department that touched any aspect of this will not only be able to see what they did, but how that also was reflected in the work of their colleagues across different city agencies. A parallel report said to be more closely focused on the police involvement in this incident is yet to be released. Mayor Lightfoot has said there are some problems with that report. No word on when we will see the results of that investigation conducted by former Chicago Inspector General Joe Ferguson. We reached out to Anjanette Young's attorney for comment, Ray and Micah, and he tells us that he plans to appear tomorrow morning on the WGN Morning News, so stay tuned.